Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm gonna to do unboxing videos. So a lot of times when I'm done working on a comic book, I'll get comp boxes. Comp boxes or boxes like this. I don't usually open them up until like much later on. So this is a accumulation of a few months worth of uh, comp boxes. So let's get started. Here's a package from Marvel. Okay. So Marvel, when they send me these comp box, comp, comp comics, they're held in the sleeve like this. So here, in each page, there's a description that says uh, what I worked on. So there, here's one of the comics I worked on. This one's called uh, Amerga. Amerga is one of the characters. And I helped out on a few pages here. This. So they sent me three copies of America. Okay, uh, issue number issue number six. Okay. Along with that, there's also X Men Blue. X Men Blue issue number nine. There's the cover. And and in this issue, they forgot to uh, Marvel forgot to credit me. Uh, so, but they sent me comp comp boxes, comp copies anyway. So let me show you a page that I'm gonna uh, be doing a video on because I did some pre-recordings and then you can uh, look at my other videos. There's this page, this cover here. Actually, this splash page here is one where I did some uh, instructional videos. Uh, look for it later or if it's up, then look for it now. Okay, so that's uh, X-Men Blue, issue number nine. Look for it in your comic book stores now. Uh, another comic is that they sent me is a uh, Web Warriors number eleven. Here's Web Warriors number eleven. Actually, this was done a long time ago. So Marvel sends me uh, stuff uh, in different order. There's some of the interiors that I worked on. Okay, so that's uh, Web Warriors number. 11. Let's just take a look at the cover again. Okay, next is Venom number 54. They only sent me two copies. Probably ran out. Okay, so Venom number 154. It's another comic that I worked on. And let's see some of the insides. So here's a Venom running at you. Like this. So that's uh, Venom number 154, another comic book I worked on. And then Marvel sends me these boards to protect it. Okay, on to the next package. Uh, this one. Okay, let me open this one up. So this one is from Marvel also. Let's, so let's see what's in here. Now, now you know why I don't open up these boxes right when I get them. It takes a bit of time to open up. So this one is, look, there's a, there's a box inside a box. Okay, let me put this away. So let's see what's in here. There's no description. Right here on the box, you can kind of read that it's Marvel Comics. First time I seen that. Okay, let's open up this one. Let's see. So a lot of times when I get boxes like this and just have descriptions in the front, I don't even know what it is. Uh, okay, so here some bubble wraps. Okay, let's take this out. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of little boxes in here. Little comics. So put this box. This box. Put this, put this aside. Okay. More, more stuff. We need that. Do need this. Okay. So here's another one. This one's for Kingpin issue four. Uh, another comic book that I worked on. Kingpin issue four. Uh, well, we'll just continue opening this up. If I showed you. Every interior is going to take a long time. Here's some of the insides. 
Okay, next is uh, Spider-Man Deadpool. Issue number 17. Here's the cover that I worked on. Well, I didn't do the cover, I did the inside. Uh, this is kind of that I worked on. So here's some of the interior pages. Uh, next is uh, Black Panther number 16. Black Panther number 16. Uh, look for that in your stores. Another book that I worked on. Okay, next is Star Wars number 6. Another book that I uh, worked on. Okay, so this is Inhumans Prime number one. This was the fun issue I worked on. Uh, I remember we started work on this and they announced uh, the Inhumans uh, TV show. So this was pretty exciting. This is one page that I did, I remember, which was fun to work on. Let me see if I can find that for you right now. Uh, it's a double page spread. Here it is. A double page spread with the whole Inhuman characters in there. Okay. So Inhumans Prime number one. Look for that if you haven't uh, seen it already. Another book that I worked on was uh, X Men Blue number four. Here's how the cover looks. And I worked on the insides. Let's see. Yep. Here's some of the insides of the page, pages. Put that aside. Next is uh, Astonishing X Men number one. This is in the store now. Uh, a lot of people were looking forward to this. This was the fun project uh, I worked on taking over a uh, uh, Okay, on to the next package. There's another package uh, from, from Marvel. Uh, it's a trade paperback. So this trade paperback is uh, for Kingpin. Uh, probably from that individual issue I worked on, Marvel would compile uh, comics and then release that as a trade paperback. So here's this one, a trade paperback. The next cup box is we'll move we'll, we'll, we'll forward on this side. This one's from uh, Valiant Entertainment. So I'm gonna open up this. Valiant, I, this don't work for I, I know exactly what book this is. This my first time doing a Valiant comic bookstore. Uh, I worked with uh, Derek Robertson. So here's. Uh, Harbinger Renegade, number seven. So this is a whole bunch. Harbinger Renegade, number seven. So here's another book. The first time working for Valiant. Uh, I did some Valiant work uh, in the past where I helped out on a few pages. But this is the first full issue. Okay, uh, he came over Derek Robertson. Derek's a good friend. I worked with him a long time ago on New, uh, New Warriors when we, when we worked on some covers together. So here's some of the interior pages. So Harbinger number seven in stores now. I'm gonna put this aside. <clears throat> We're gonna move over to here. Here's another package. This one is from IDW Publishing. So I'm gonna op open this up. IDW Publishing, they contacted me and asked me to work on few issues on a backup story. The backup story was, I think it was like four or five pages each. So here's, here's this. Uh, okay, let's see. Let me flip this and get it in order. So here we have the first issue of First Strike. It was IDW's main event. Okay, there's four copies it's in stores now, so look for that. Uh, first Strike Issue 1. Okay, next there's, well, here's First Strike Issue 1. There's also some of the Issue 1. They sent me five copies, so that's pretty nice of them. First Strike Issue 1. And then, for, I also worked on Issue 2. Issue 2, right over here. First Strike Issue 2. Look for that in stores. Mostly uh, IDW's main major event with all of their uh, 
nice toy characters who are joining together like G.I. Joe and Transformers and Micronauts, Rom. So it's fun to work on those characters. Uh, First Strike issue three. Here's some of the books. Again, I worked on the backup story. The backup story is in the back of the book. Like, uh, here's some of the insides. Here's a G.I. Joe character. Here's a Transformer character. And here's First Strike uh, issue four. Okay, look for that in stores. In stores now. Okay, I'm gonna continue uh, opening up some more some more of these. You know, here's, here's a comp box that I got. So I torn up by a uh, post office. Okay, let me open this up. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this is uh, First Strike issue five, since I got issue one, two, three, and fours over there. Issue five was the, the last issue I did for the series. So we have First Strike issue five, right over here. There's the cover. Check it out. So all five issues I did maybe four, I think it's four pages or five pages. So a total of uh, 25 pages for all five issues. Okay, moving on to the next uh, comp that I got. Let's open up uh, this one. This one is from Tomorrow's Publishing. It's a magazine about comic books. So let's open this up. Okay, so this one is so there's a little cardboard, don't need that. Here it is, it's called, they sent me a um, back issued September 2017 issue. So that's how long I haven't been opening up comps. This is issue number 99. And I remember this, this is the one where they contacted me and they interviewed me about uh, some of my work on Justice League. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can find exactly which page? Let's see. Maybe they sent me this by accident. So let's, let's look through this together and see if we can find uh, what I worked on or what the interview about me. So well, let's look at the titles page. Let's see. Hmm. Backstage. Da -da -da -da. Backstage. No. No, not here. Can we continue for me? Because I'm, I'm also curious why they sent me this. I know they interviewed me for Justice League Unlimited and let me flip through this really quickly to see if it's this issue. Maybe they sent me the wrong issue. And this has nothing to do with it. Can we keep flipping? Let's see. Nope, not here. Batgirl. Harley Quinn. Uh, Batman and Robin. Batgirl. Oh. Getting closer to the back, towards the back of Superman. Let's see here. Jenna, please give me just Nope. Okay. So, uh, nope, not me, not me. Justice League Adventures, nope, not me, not, not this either. Here it is. Oh, so it's on page 62. So, why? Where, 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 where did it start? Well, anyway. I'm here on page 62, right over here. There's a, there's a picture of me and some of my work. And I think it's just an article, uh, a little bit, that talks about uh, some of the artists that worked on it. Okay, so that, there's that. So that's back issues, issue, uh, issue number 99 uh, in stores. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next item. That I got. This one's from DC Comics. Okay, let's open the book. Let's see what this is. Okay, uh, the wrappers will be this. The box will be this. Okay, here's they sent me Batgirl, a trade paperback of Batgirl Stephanie Brown, uh, volume one. Some work that I've done a long time ago. Let's take a look uh, in here. Let's see, yeah, here's me, here's me, all the way on the bottom, and here's some of the inside. Let me see if I. This was work that I've done a long time ago. Well, look for that in stores. Batgirl, 
volume one. Okay. Okay, the next box, this of course is a big box, it's hidden by the way. This one is from I don't know who this is from. This is Walmart exclusive Justice League. Okay, let's open up this. Uh, if it's just as least, most likely a DC Comics that's it, this, this time. Okay, more, more wrappers. Okay, here's a um, tray, there's a bunch of tray paper racks. Let's take this out. Okay, don't need this. So we have Justice League, what is it? Justice League. Walmart exclusive includes boat includes bonus movie poster only at Walmart. Save money, live better. Just asleep. There's a poster inside. Yeah, there's a poster inside. Let's see. I think. Where's the poster? Well, or if there's a poster inside, there's a poster inside. Oh yeah, on this last page. I guess you rip it out and. Oh, it's just the. Okay, the movie just the characters. Okay, so that's look for that is go oh, actually look for this in Walmart. It's a Walmart exclusive. So I put this over here. Okay, let's open up the next box. This one is from uh, DC. DC. I'm not sure what this is. Okay. So we have more wrapping. Oh, this is the same Justice League. Justice League Greatest Triumphs. Oh, so here's the same, same thing. So this is the Walmart exclusive, and this is your regular comic book store exclusive. So if you want a comic book store and you, you are gonna pick up the uh, Justice League volume, actually the Greatest Triumphs. That's the name of this one. This is how it look, look like. If you went to Walmart, this will be how the cover looks. Uh, I guess the Walmart version includes a poster, whereas this one is just your regular. Okay, now let's open up the next item. Okay, so let me open up this. This one's from Insight Edition. Uh, I did some uh, coloring books for them. Uh, this one's for Destiny, the official coloring book for Insight Edition. So some of the work I've done is uh, there was this pencil who did some work digitally and then I inked it traditionally. Here's some of the insides. Okay, uh, let's see if there's more I can show you that, that I worked on. I did a good handful of uh, pages for this. There, here's more of some of the interior pages that I've done. So if you like uh, coloring your own comics, here, here's a book that I've done for uh, Inside Editions. Look for that in stores. Okay, next one is, this one is from Viz, Viz Media. This one's called Let's Find Pokemon. Uh, what I've done here was, uh, they, Viz would contact me and ask me to do some touch of artwork. Here, um, let me open up this book, show you the insides. Uh, let's see, where's the credits? It's a credit page. Here it is, right over here. That's my Pokemon, Touch Up, Walden Wong. So here, uh, I would do some touch up work uh, digitally online, where I would uh, either fix some of the characters or change some of the fonts or change some of the colors. But uh, this is a, this was a fun project to work on. So if you're into Pokemon's, uh, look for that in your stores. Uh, let's find Pokemon Special Complete Edition. Okay. Now here's another comp. Okay. So this one's from Marvel. Okay. This one's X Men Blue Trade Paperback. X Men Blue Strangers uh, Volume One. Uh, also based on some of the early comic books that I've worked on over here. I think it's uh, somewhere over here. So let's take a look. Look, in stores now. Nice trip pack. Here's some of the interiors that I worked on. Okay. And lastly, 
we have uh, this box. Uh, this one's from the Inkwell Awards. Let me open up this one. I, I, I already know what this is, but I never got time to open it, so I'm gonna open this now. So, in the past, uh, I, this, is, this is my uh, my fourth Inkwell Awards. Okay, let me clear this up. Look at this. So here it is. The Inco board I got for 2017. Right over here. Ooh, very nice. 2017, the most, the most adaptable Inco board. Check it out. Look at this. So here we have it. So this is all the cop stuff that I got comic book related items that I have uh, sent to me. Uh, I, usually I don't really open them up all at the same time. Uh, I would just leave them in boxes then maybe when I have time I'll open them up later. Take a look. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing video as much as uh, I enjoy opening them up and seeing for the first time how the published comic looks. So until next time, maybe in a few months when I have more items, I'll do another unboxing video. Comment down below if you'd like to see more unboxing videos. Unboxing videos of the books I worked on. So not only do you see how I create comics, or how I work with comics, but also what books I've worked on. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, be good.